Hello everyone, we keep getting more and more farm animals like those beautiful cows behind us and we don't have an efficient farm yet and I'm kind of running out of food. Today I want to solve this problem by making a cow crusher and I'll also show you guys how to make a cow crusher. So somewhere over there I already dug out a bit where I want the cow crusher to be. And what a cow crusher basically is, and you just crowd up uh, cows in a single block and if you further breed them they start dying and they will fill up a chest where a harper is connected with. So first of all we need to place a chest in and then have a harper point to the chest. So we're gonna try this by throwing a block and see if it ends up in here, it does. So yeah, this is the, the main part of the farm. Now we have to place some blocks around like this. Then stairs upside down so we can still um, open the chest because if there's like a, uh, a full block over it, not stairs, you cannot open the chest. Now let's get the block again and we have to make this higher. So the ground part of the cow crusher is with water and there's one empty part. The empty part is where the cows will be in and the was water will help the cows if they die, if they become too many. Because the thing is like it's funny in Minecraft. So so if there's like a, a block, like a one space block, like one space of, 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 of space and the cows become too many, they automatically die. And for some reason the the adults they die and the children they don't i don't know why that is it's a big mystery i have to yet solve it and yeah we now need to place in some water above the hopper and now the tricky part comes we have to get cows in here at least two so we can further breed them so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna get like a bit of wheat it should be enough for this and we're gonna open carefully the farm now and hope that only two of the cows escape I'm almost sure there will be more than two, so I just have to bring them back in later. Where the heck did I actually place the, the door? Wait, we don't have a door here? Oh, it's on that side. <laughs> Never mind. Now, I just need two. Okay, I need to push them a bit, I guess. Okay, one, one, one is out. Two. Oh, perfect. We got two. Um, now, please follow me. Great, we have bad weather. Oh, thunder, thunder, thunder. Ah, this is very dangerous. I need to quickly sleep. Oh, no. Yo, I actually hate this when I'm like in the middle of doing something and then suddenly thunder happens. Like, if there's a thunderstorm, like hostile stuff can spawn. Yo, I'm so getting interrupted here. Let's hope the cows are still there. <gasps> oh, that was risky. Okay, everyone's safe. They did not get uh, striked uh, by, they did not get struck by like thunder. That's great. So it's time to lead you guys to the farm. Please follow me, be good cows. It's actually the tricky part to get those in. And I just realized I actually need to also place stairs here so we can get up. Okay, perfect. If I'm not mistaken, I can in fact actually break one. Oh yeah, we can actually break one, perfect. Wait. Where's the other one? Okay, it walked up here. Come, come, come. Now be some good cows and follow me. Whew, now the tricky part comes. So, so, so we are crouching right now so we don't fall off, it's very important. And if we're actually crouching, we can push them in just like this one. Got the first one in. Now we have to somehow get behind this cow, what can be a little tricky. And we need to like manually push this one in. And if I like hit the middle, it should fall in by itself. There's also a trick like you can actually also, sometimes this works. I'm actually trying this now. If you like breed cows and they're like kind of like in the middle, sometimes the child will fall in and sometimes even the adult okay the child did fall in the adult did not but that's no problem because if the child matures i can just inbreed them like literally <laughs> and okay I, i'll try one last time if not i'll just let this cow roam all right this one is a free cow now you know what i need some breakfast i i'm sorry but it's over for you. Don't escape to a freaking cave. 
Yo, that one's that one's trying to be smart, escaping to a freaking uh, cave. So I don't get it. Uh, I need the ladder actually. And there's like a lot of motion going on, so I'm going to solve this issue by actually placing a fence on top of them, so there's mm -hmm. less uh, jumping here. Oh, and you have to do this like multiple times because, as you guys can see, like the timing needs to be like. Perfect, literally. Ah, oh, come on, you're kidding me. I can actually change something before you could do this just fine. And wait, where's the fence now? Oh, there's a delay, will be later back in my inventory. Guess I keep it like that for now. <sighs> so annoying. Let's see. We, do we have to craft fence again? It just disappeared. <gasps> there's a skeleton. There's a skeleton. I actually need some bone. Let's kill this one. Boom. Woo! He missed me, but I didn't. Haha, <laughs> I got you, bullseye. He dropped nothing? I... Oh, and the, f the, the wall is back. Uh, second attempt to put a wall above the cows. This is so annoying. Like, I don't know what they did. Like, it was actually funny because before, like a patch ago, or was it two patches ago, when you made a cow crusher, you could just peacefully place a fence on top of them and there would be less motion. Now you have to, like, perfectly almost time it. Oh, I What's happening? Why are they? Don't tell me I placed in something here. Okay, I think if we stand a bit on top of them. Ah, oh, it worked! Finally! That's a cow crusher, guys. Yo, was this annoying? And, and you guys see why I put the fence there? They can't jump anymore so much. This is so much better. I freaking love this. Yay, and now we get to work on the house. <gasps> oh, I made huge progress at the house, guys. Um, I'm so I'm, I'm going to grab like a couple of blocks. And we're going to be like actually finishing the second floor. Well, the second floor is like almost done, guys. There is not much missing. And we're going to change the doors. Like I was experimenting a bit uh, last night and I was like checking what actually looks really, really nice. And you know what? I need some food. Let's actually cook the meat. And yeah, look at this. Like, I've actually finished the, the windows here, at least on this side. We got like everywhere, like window covers, window shutters. I went with the bamboo. I think bamboo does look not so bad. It kind of gives me a bit of like Asian culture vibes, right? Because of like the pattern and stuff. And because in like, for example, China, also in Japan, there are like some structures where they actually use bamboo. And I want this to have like a bit of an Asian culture touch, this building. And yeah, we're gonna get rid of the doors by the way. I want to use the mangrove doors because they look so nice. So yeah, this is how the build looks with the uh, cherry doors. And let me show you how it looks like with the uh, mangrove doors. Because I think it looks just so much better with it. Like look at this. <gasps> this looks so luxurious now. We were gonna do this to all the doors. We're gonna break now every single door here and replace it. This one included. This one too. This one too. But maybe for the future, for some other builds, we need the doors still. So we're gonna grab them. And I brought some carpet over so we can finish the carpet on the ground as well. So we we'll go till here. However, for the bench uh, we put there. I'm not sure. We should we stick with mangrove or should we do something else? Like how much contrast would that actually be if we used, for example, bamboo? Let me try. But that's also nice, right? To have like the furniture be in a different color. But but I kind of love this as well with the mangrove. Let's stick with mangrove for now. 
and now very important we're getting on the second floor and we're going to do some room separation together so this is second floor and as you guys can see this is nearly completed only like this side is still missing some windows but i can grab some some sand from the desert no problem i can finish this because we ran out of glass and yeah we're doing a room separation here now If I'm not mistaken, the doors were... I think it was after three blocks from the left side. Let me, let me check. It was three blocks, yes. So here will be the door. We have to break this and put this to the side. We have exactly four doors, right? One, two, three, f yeah, we have enough for this. Perfect. So my calculation was correct for once. Perfect. Um, we're gonna have like a variety of rooms. So we're gonna have like some nice work rooms for like villagers that we're gonna bring over. We're gonna have like a flat room, for example, a room for the toolsmith. And I will get like the most important professions. I even consider getting like like kind of like an alchemy station or something. Like a little lab for like the cleric, right? Very mistaken, we still have like two brewing stands somewhere in the desert uh, base that we have. So I can just grab those and bring them over here. And yeah, we're gonna strip the locks now so it looks nice just like the other walls. And look. We need a lot of food, so it was good that we got this cow crusher set up and built today. And here will be a door. Nice. Next room. Here the door was... How was the door there? We have to also add pillars, by the way. So the door was was like completely in the middle. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So it's like four from the left. Okay, no problem. Four from the left. Like I want them to be the same actually. So so it looks like more clean. Like it would be weird if like one side there's a door here, one here. It's kind of strange. So from the left side, four blocks. That means here. It's almost night. Your time flies so fast, it's crazy. It feels like we've just been here like for a minute. It's already freaking night. I'll probably move by the way the bedrooms upstairs because I think it's faster if we have like upstairs the bedrooms, especially if we're using villagers in our builds. So we have like downstairs when we enter the, the, the villagers, so we can do some super fast trading and then just leave. See so what we're gonna do now is... So the bedroom is on this side, right? So I'm quickly gonna sleep then break the bed and move it upstairs. Was, was this side, right? Yeah, correct. And we have to dye the bed. We are going for... Let me think. So, so blue is for carpets. That means for the bed we could either use lime. Or we make... No, you know what? I want red beds. So the beds are going to be red. Anything with a tablecloth or something is going to be lime. So you will have like a lot of sitting areas as well. And the beds will be red. And for that we're just gonna um, bone meal the rose uh, flowers that we have. Because we can get like a lot of like red dye. We have bone meal with us right now. No. Uh, I will quickly see in a chest if we have some bone meal and make the, the bed red. So we don't have to break this ag again later and I will make this also into a double bed. So let's quickly make one more bed. And 
we're gonna grab the bone meal. Bone meal was... I think it was this chest. Oh, yeah. One is enough. We don't need more. Because the cool thing is about those flowers, if you bone meal them, like the big ones, you get like two diaper um, big flower. So one red, one red flower, we have two dice. That means two red beds. Perfect. And I think, yeah, red looks nice with uh, the pink here. Like I almost even went for red carpet, but then I thought about like, wait, I'm gonna, tw I'm going to probably use red for like other stuff as well. And I want some variety. I don't want to have like just two, three colors inside this building. I want this to be like very colorful. So yeah, new respawn point. Now here again. We have four blocks of space, then the door. Let's break this. I hope we have enough wood for this. Like this whole building is so expensive because we're not using planks, we're not using stone. We're actually using stripped locks for most of it. Like the whole wall here is out of stripped locks. So you can imagine like how many hours I spent getting this. I'm not gonna lie, like this whole building was probably like already 40 trees or so. Like, no joking, this was like probably like 40 trees that I had to cut down at least. This is such an expensive building because we are purely working with locks. So like a whole wall like this is at least two to three trees. So yeah, you can do the math guys, like each uh, wall here is two to three trees. So it's an expensive building, but it's gonna look really nice once it's done. Like, you're not gonna be disappointed. It's gonna be a very beautiful house. Plus, I already have, like, a, a rough idea on how I want the building to look. I would try to add a bit of Japanese style to it. But maybe it would not look so Japanese. I don't know. I would try to. Like what I usually do to get, like, inspiration... I would look at like medieval structures online. I would just go on Google, type in Google pic uh, on Google pictures something like Japanese castle or something or like Egyptian pyramid or something. And then I would try to like recreate this in, in, in Minecraft or at least like get like parts of it done and add like a bit of my own, right? But yeah, we already unfortunately ran out of wood, so we can't do this wall completely. At least we got it done like partially. But yeah, we need to break this. Turn this to the side, so it looks like more clean, right? I guess better if we have it like that. Now here, oh yeah, in this room everything was inside. Perfect. Now here will be carpets uh, too. And we're gonna quickly grab some pillars. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the middle? L let me do the math. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, is this is the middle. Uh, yeah, we need a bit of more carpet, but it's no problem. How I'm gonna do this upstairs though with the pillars? Should we go for two or three floors? Let me think. We could have like an... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna be really smart with this. So, oh, I, I, I need to actually mark this so I don't forget. What do you guys think about this idea? I have this crazy good idea. How about we, we make some sort of balconies on this side? Yeah! Heck yeah! So this would be a balcony. And this would be a balcony. Yeah, that would be cool. So 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 there's no so there's no third floor here. It will end. But in the middle building there will be a third floor. This I could consider also turning it into some balcony. I just connect it with the rest. Yo, this would be nice. 
I will quickly get some signs and mark this so I don't forget. And we're gonna have like two balconies. And we're gonna have a third floor. This will be a very large building, guys. Let me quickly grab the signs. And what we also need to grab is some more carpet. So let's share our blue sheep. Ooh, this will be such a nice building. I've built something like this before, but this was like years ago. Where I actually had like a building. Where like one floor was kind of like on one side interrupted with some sort of balcony. And only one room had like a, a, a third floor. And it looked so good actually, I remember. Yo, I'm gonna do the same here. If we're lucky, one sheep will get the, the wool back. Okay, never mind. I don't have time to wait for eternity here, so if it's not eating the grass, it's fine. So let's quickly mark those, those corners so I don't forget it. Wow, we have so many chickens. So, so, so if you guys are wondering why I keep getting more chickens, so each time I see eggs here, I like literally just walk in here and I just randomly throw eggs until we get like freaking baby chickens. Like look, we got like two, no, three baby chickens from this. 16 eggs, three baby chickens. This is a good number. All right, um, where are our freaking signs? There's one sign. Where's the second one? There's the second one. Nice. Ugh, I'm hungry again. Okay, for furniture, are we gonna use mangrove or are we going to use crimson fungi? Like crimson wood looks nice as well for the for like tables and stuff, right? Maybe I would use the crimson one. Have the doors? Yeah, the doors will be mangrove. The furniture will be crimson. Beds red. Tablecloth lime. So yeah, balcony one. Balcony two. Third floor will be this. Probably including this and this. Yeah, yeah, this whole this whole area will be so So this will be actually cool because we're gonna have like a smaller roof. That's like covering the balcony Probably gonna have like a height of three blocks. The fourth block will be the roof They will have no balconies to, like the third one will not have a balcony and then we can get on the side and I actually think the view is really great from here because this will be one block higher, so so that will be the, the floor here, right? Because this room needs to have a height of four blocks because of the bed. So we can have at least a space of two above the bed. Yeah, that means we get to see some stuff. Nice. But yeah guys, that's it for today's episode. If you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.